What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. Yeah, we're back on the viral videos binge for you all and I have seen so many clips over the last few months. So there's no point wasting any of your time. Let's get stuck right in. There's a lot to get through. Up first, we're over to Australia where we've got a really interesting interaction between a Maori octopus and a draft board shark. From what I've read about here, this bruv has been set up to assess wildlife abundance in an area where they're planning on putting an offshore wind farm. The Maori octopus has popped onto the end of the bait cage to try and get at that bait, but when the draft board shark has come in for a look, it's fancied a bigger meal. Octopus, octopi, I can't remember which one it is, and sharks do have a very interesting predator-prey dynamic in the marine environment though, with both species occasionally being prey for the other. What's particularly savage here though is this fish here, which I'm pretty sure is some kind of gurnard species, is kicking this draft board shark while it's down and also trying to get an easy meal as well as the octopus. And then the squid tries to get in front of the camera. It's just pure chaos. <laughs> Thankfully though, for this little draft board shark, it does eventually manage to escape the Maori octopus who probably bit off a little bit more than it could chew. Interestingly here though, the draft board shark, which is also known as the swell shark, is a shark species that we've featured on the channel before. It's thought to be one of the only shark species that can make noise, even though it has no organs capable of doing such a thing. We did do a video all about sharks and noise, and I know that a lot of you have probably missed that one. So if you did wanna check it out, make sure you click that link there. There's so many cool clips in that, one of a whale shark, one of a swell shark, and then some rays that make noise as well. Up next, over to America now, and I can't quite tell from the video info, but it's probably somewhere just off the east coast of America. These fishermen are in the process of hauling in a decent sized tuna when a massive white shark appears from absolutely nowhere and just annihilates that tuna. The reaction of the crew here though with screams and shouts of awe is great to see. It does seem as if they're stunned with excitement more than anything else. It's tough to see exactly from the video, but I think that might be a bluefin tuna, which can get to huge sizes. So that just shows you how big that white shark is. I'm saying at least five meters there. This is a classic depredation event though, where the sharks just grab whatever is on the end of a fisherman's line. And to be fair, it's a pretty big issue across the world. We have spoken about depredation before on the channel, and I know there's a fair few of you out there who like fishing, who also watch shark bites. So let me know in the comments if you've ever been fishing and had a shark take whatever's on the end of your line. I think it'd be really interesting to see how many of you out there there are. Next up then, we've got this wild clip of a snorkeler who's getting up close and personal with a very, very big great hammerhead. I've got no location on this one for you, but it's probably somewhere like the Bahamas. The guy filming though is giving some great running commentary. Have a listen to this. What a sick. That's it there, that big boy. What a sick. <laughs> You're damn right he's a big boy. Look at the size of that shark. I think when you see hammerheads from an aerial perspective in comparison to the size of humans, you really do get an appreciation of how big they can get, especially something like a great hammerhead. Realistically, this hammerhead has absolutely no interest in that snorkeler though, and it's probably come into the shallows, likely hunting some stingrays who've tried to get to safety. What an awesome encounter that is though. I would love to have an experience with a hammerhead like that. Okay, off to Hawaii now, where we've got this crazy footage of a whale shark. Initially, it's a little tough to see exactly what's going on here, but we can see the whale shark swimming along and then the camera pans slightly to the left and we can see that a killer whale has latched onto the underside of that whale shark and is most definitely trying to eat it. Killer whales being the incredible apex predators that they are, aren't a stranger to hunting sharks. They've been documented hunting thresher sharks, seven gills, hammerheads, great whites, and yes, now whale sharks. It's likely not limited to just those species either. They probably feed on whatever sharks they can find. I think what's even crazier about this footage though is that we can see clearly that particular killer whale is targeting the ventral underside area of the shark, which is right about where the incredibly nutritious liver is located in that body cavity. And it could be the case here that these killer whales hunting this whale shark are the same individuals that have hunted great white sharks in the waters off the west coast of California. Or the knowledge has already been passed on to other killer whales that are in and around the area. It's a mega interesting predator prey dynamic that we've got to keep an eye on here and something that we have covered on the channel before in regards to the white sharks and the killer whales in South Africa. Never trust a killer whale guys. Maybe we could put that on a t-shirt. What do you reckon? Anyway, next up, we've got an old clip, although it did go viral again not that long ago on social media. It features some Aussie blokes who encounter a white shark while they're out fishing at sea. I'm going to play some of it for you all because I think their commentary is absolutely hilarious. But considering they are Aussie blokes, there is some very, very choice language used. 
So if you've got little ones watching right now and you don't really want them to hear this next clip, I would suggest fast forwarding about a minute. Shit, shit, shit. I've never seen one that fucking big. Ah, that's enough of me. Fuck. Me. He's just sitting there. What the hell? Yeah, as long as he stays down there. He's scoping us, mate. Fuck me. Holy shit. Jesus, fuck me. That Christ. is fucking huge. Oh, that good. is massive. <laughs> that is really the most Australian reaction to seeing a great white shark I think I've ever heard. But the white shark in this clip, though, is big. I think we're probably talking just shy of six meters, and it is proper checking them out. I love with the big white sharks how unafraid of little fishing boats they are. They'll just come in nice and slow and really check you out. At certain points in the video as well, this white shark is barely moving forwards. It's spending loads and loads of time really investigating these Aussie blokes and the boat. According to the comments on this video, the people who filmed it decided to head off pretty quickly from the area and I don't really blame them. <laughs> What a beast of a shark. Staying in Australia then, but heading over to Bondi Beach in Sydney, we've got this drone footage of a Mako shark. The Bondi lifeguards make sure they've got drones up in the air most of the time above Bondi as part of their shark drone app project. The concept of it is pretty awesome and it's a great non-lethal method of keeping water users safe in the event that any large sharks decide to come a little bit too close to shore. But on this occasion, the drone is following a decent sized Mako shark, which is cruising a few hundred meters from the surf break. Out of nowhere, the Mako decides it's had enough of cruising and expertly lands a backflip. Nice. I think this is one of the first drone clips I've seen of a Mako shark performing aerial acrobatics, which is awesome. Makos are pretty well known for leaping up into the air though, normally when they're either on the end of a fishing line or while they're hunting. Make sure you check out that Mako shark creature beach we did a few weeks ago, by the way. Link is in the top right hand corner. But as to why this Mako decided to just do a backflip, it's pretty tough to say. It doesn't look like it's hunting to me, so my next best bet is that this Mako had a few annoying parasites or clingers attached to its body, and it didn't fancy carrying them around anymore, so it's just decided to flip out of the water to get them off. What an awesome trick shot. Ah, yes, okay, we've got this one. So I think some of you guys might have seen this in the last few weeks weeks going viral on TikTok. In the video itself, the people on board the boat are saying that what they've caught there is a great white shark and they say it a number of times. But then weirdly, the TikTok kids in the comments were all either saying it was a great white shark or it was an ocean sunfish. Come on guys, did you honestly think this was a sunfish? Thankfully, Shark Bites is here to clear it all up because no, it's not a great white shark, nor is it an ocean sunfish. It's of course, a basking shark. Straight away from this video playing right now, you can see that the coloration has those speckledy markings right there, and that's often seen on basking sharks. But even more helpfully, I found another video with an underwater angle that definitively proves it. In this video here, we can see those huge gill slits, the super rounded fins, and then that classic basking shark head shape. Mystery solved, ocean sunfish. Come on, TikTok. Okay, moving over to Penascola, Florida now, where this longfin mako had unfortunately managed to get itself stranded on the beach. Some beachgoers decided to give it a helping hand, and although you should definitely call the relevant authorities here, I'm not gonna berate them for trying to save this shark. The issue here is though, that when random strandings like this happen to sharks, more often than not, there's a reason for it. When sharks strand themselves on the beach, it's usually because they're either sick or injured or something is wrong with them. Okay, I get sometimes it does happen to healthy individuals, but more often than not, it's usually because there's something wrong with them. And it turned out that there was most definitely something wrong with this shark as it was discovered the following day about 40 yards off the shore, dead on the seafloor. I've not been able to find any additional information as to what happened with the shark, but I imagine it's been taken away and examined by scientists and hopefully they'll be able to figure out exactly what happened with this shark and also get some samples that might be able to go towards future longfin mako research. Okay over to Monterey Bay now for this next clip that went viral. Thanks Brendan for sending this one in to me. We've got another insane predator prey dynamic here between a California sea lion and a blue shark. In the clip we can see the sea lion literally ripping out the throat of that blue shark in this brutal attack. Fish and squid are usually the main staple for California sea lions but 
they are known to be opportunistic predators and will feed on whatever they can when they have to. When food sources are scarce, sea lions can adapt and diversify their diet, which can occasionally lead to some unconventional prey items, like for example this blue shark. Although it is a pretty brutal clip to watch, it does remind us that nature at its core is brutal and pretty unforgiving. And it reminds us the next time you look at a sea lion thinking it's cute and cuddly, this is what they can do literally rip your throat out. And then finally, for our last clip today, we're off up to Scotland, where this incredible interaction between a basking shark and a bluefin tuna was captured by a drone. Basking Shark Scotland, a tour operator, filmed this bizarre sequence of events for over 20 minutes, with the bluefin tuna seemingly attacking the basking shark. Time and time again, the tuna comes back for a pass at the shark, clearly targeting its tail. The basking shark, who looks to be pretty agitated, does try a number of tactics to try and evade the tuna, though, such as turning in tight circles, speed swimming away, and banking its back. But the real question that's on everybody's lips is what on earth is going on here? Is this tuna actually trying to attack and bite the shark? Well, although it's tough to say exactly for sure, I don't think it is. I think what's actually going on here is the bluefin tuna is using the basking shark as a scratching post. There have been research papers published in the past showing that pelagic tuna species regularly scrape the surface of shark skin to try and dislodge parasites. And I think this is exactly what's going on here. Shark skin can be super rough and is the perfect material to try and get rid of any parasites that have clamped onto that tuna. Regardless of what exactly is going on here, I do think this is an unbelievable behavior to get on camera. So there we go, guys. That's your viral videos binge from the last few months. Which one of those clips was your favorite? I want to hear what you all have to say in the comments below. For me, it's that basking shark tuna video. That's just a crazy thing to capture on film. I can't believe they've managed to witness that. As always, if you enjoyed this video, though, please, please do give it a like. But before you click off, I briefly mentioned to you earlier about the swell shark, which is one of those shark species that can sort of make sound. Well, if you wanted to learn more about how they can do this, you're going to want to click on this video right here. In it, you're gonna see that video of a swell shark making sound, as well as a mysterious noise that might have been produced by a whale shark. It's absolutely bizarre, so make sure you give it a watch here.